Hello and good morning. My name is Joe Barley and welcome for today's sales advice in Farming Simulator 19. Our today's topic are trailers and today we're looking at the universal trailers. So the trailers who can take everything, every crop type, every root crop, every uh, they can take silage, um, any forest uh, forage um, harvest any forage crop that's the word any forage crops they can take basically anything with two exceptions of course they can also take lime fertilizers whatever um, just as i said with two exceptions we will start with the semi trailers semi trailers um, which are um, displayed over here we will start with this one this is the fliegel ass 29 Eight. Um, this is a mod by Giant Software. Um, it has 84, no, 48,000 liters of capacity. Is 61,000 euros to buy. So one euro 27 per liter volume. The evaluation for today is um, sales price divided by volume, and the result will define the evaluation. This is a pushback. Um, trailer so when you unload it it will open its back and this wall gets pushed all the way through the trailer to its end with this piston over here and in the transport position if you want this back section is right here in front and and it's the front wall of the trailer um, this is the only trailer of the semi trailers which does not have a cover. All other um, track um, semi trailers will have a cover on it. Um, the advantage of this trailer, of course, is the fact that it does not have a tip function. So if you are unloading in very um, narrow buildings or buildings which have a, a rooftop above it, um, this is um, the best way to go in comparison, for example, to such a tipper like it's over here. This is the next one, this is also a Fliegel trailer, um, the Fliegel DHKA390. Um, it has 43,000 liters of capacity and is 55,000 euros to buy, so 1 euro 28 per liter. Um, from the semi trailers, this is the one with the smallest capacity of. Um, 43,000 liters, but it is also the cheapest with 55,000 liters. Um, this trailer, I believe, was delivered with the Horsch um, um, Agro Pack DLC, the free one from released from Giant, because I think that's um, the situation when I uh, received it and I was kind of surprised actually um, when I received it. Um, yeah, but I think it's it's coming along with the Horsch pack which is free to download um, the graphics on the side is a free option you don't need it I just put it on um, it does not cost anything if you don't want that graphic transformer graphic on the trailer is all white um, yeah it's a tipper of course it has a, a cover on it um, it's open here and that's um, the Fliegel trailer the second of the two Fliegel trailers but also always be aware when you unload these trailers in narrow buildings um, with small clearances. Next up is a Krampe. This is the Krampe uh, KS950. As you can see, it's obviously also a tipper, but um, for those who do not uh, speak fluent German, it also says it here <laughs> on the side, actually. Uh, alu, of course, aluminium, so that's the material which it's made for. Kip means tip and settle, subtle means settle, so that is a settle trailer or a semi trailer. That's basically just displayed here at the side of this trailer and off road, of course, it's off road, uh, I think, self explanatory. Um, yeah, this um, trailer has 48,000 liters of capacity just identical to this Fliegel um, and it's 62,000 euros to buy so 1,000 euros more expensive than this 
Flegel trailer and this will result in one euro 29 per liter volume um yeah it's a tipper it has a cover on top and that's how it's discharging its cargo yeah that's um all i can say about this compact oh or maybe should mention it also has um a corn um corn door uh, is, this, is it called corn door um yeah i think so corn door um function so you don't need to open the full back end if you don't want to um next up we're looking at the first of two us trailers i mean that's definitely a trailer for a uh, for an american map and for an american tractor just like we displayed it here this is the load king distinction this is one of the two trailers which do not take everything they only take your basic crops wheat barley uh, oats um, canola sunflower soybeans and corn um, and they take solid fertilizer and seed nothing more so no grass or whatever these are not meant for carrying that um, but what is special about these trailers is the fact that it's a two chamber trailer so you can see here we have two slide valves um, uh, at the bottom so this is a two chamber trailer so the total capacity of 56,434 liters and that's another indication for that it's actually an American trailer because this odd number probably translates into a very straight number with an imperial measurement of volume um, so but what I wanted to say is this um, volume is divided into two equally sized chambers the trailer costs um, 74,500 dollars I would say it's not euros um, but and this will result in one dollar 32 per liter volume this is the load king distinction next up we have another Krampe trailer this now is again a trailer more for the European market or European maps but that's just my personal uh, opinion I mean you can also take this to a European map if you want to and the other way round um, that's the Krampe SB uh, 230 1070 uh, 59,000 liters of capacity 78,000 euros to buy so also 1.32 euros per liter volume just like the load king over here but difference is that it has a rear disloading function if you unlo unload the trailer the bag opens and all the material is pushed to the back by this conveyor belt which is in the bottom of that trailer um, also has a cover oh yes the load king also does have a cover by the way um, yeah that's the Krampe. Um, it's a free axle trailer. The rear axle has a steering function, so it's better maneuverable for well small um, areas, tight areas. Next up, the last of the semi trailers, and once more, this is a trailer. This is even more, from my perspective, a trailer for an American map. In this setup, like you see it here, you have an American tractor in front, a long nose tractor. 10 wheels on the tractor, 8 wheels on the trailer, so a classical 18 wheeler setup. That's how it's supposed to look, and that's for an American map, period. My point of view, you can disagree with that, but that's simply how I see it. Um, yeah, 60,000 liters of volume, also two chamber trailer, um, 80,000 euros to buy. So the largest semi uh, trailer with the high, largest capacity but also with 80,000 euros the most expensive one and it's 1 euro 33 or 1 dollar 33 per liter volume um, also this one only takes the basics crops wheat barley oat kernel sunflower soybean corn as well as solid fertilizer and seed um, discharged is it also through the bottom of the trailer with these slide wells so this one here is open at the moment and this is how it uh, 
looks when it's closed. Yeah, that's the um, Wilson Pacer that I think I forgot to mention the name. That's of course is the Wilson Pace Setter. Moving on to the trailers which are supposed to go onto the tractors. Um, also quite a lot of it and we shall waste no time. Um, the tractors which are displayed um, here are attached to the trailers because once you unhook the um, tractors from the trailer um, the compressed air supply will fail and all the trailers will fold back to its normal transport position and we could not this and we will not be able to display the discharging position so that's why the trailers which are tipped also have a tractor in front to keep the air supply um, steady so starting off with this Strautmann SEK 804 um, this uh, trailer here has is in its 4,000 liters capacity um, setup um, and it's 8,000 euros to buy. Um, it, this is the trailer with the smallest capacity overall but it's also the cheapest one with 8,000 euros. Um, yeah it's a three-sided tip trailer so you can tip it to the left, to the right and to the back. You will see this later because we will come across this model a uh, few more times. It has a um, rear trailer hitch so you can hook up other trailers behind it and also you can have it as a bale trailer configuration. This will remove all the side walls and then you can load bales on it. Um, yes, um, 8,000 euros to buy, 4,000 liters capacity is exactly 2 euros per liter. Moving on to this trailer over here. This is the Branta TA23065. Um, this is a trailer by Giants. It says Power Tube Plus on the side here, but you don't find this in the catalog actually. This is a back tipping trailer. Um, it has 22,000 liters of capacity, is 33,000 to buy, so 1 euro 50 per liter. Um, you also have the grain door. Grain door is the word. I forgot. Now I got it. You also have the grain door function here or you can tip um, the whole back sec or, or open the whole back, sep whole back section when you unload it. Um, we will see this later on because there's another one of these trailers later on. Also it has a rear trailer hitch so you can hook other trailers behind it. Yeah, that's the Brunter, the first of the two Brunters. Next up we have the Farmtech TDK1600. It's 14,000 liters of capacity and 19,000 euros to buy. So um, 1 euro 36 per liter. It has a cover on top which is the standard for it. A uh, three-sided tipper, so you can tip it to the left, to the right and to the back. And also you have a grain door in the back and a rear trailer hitch to hook other trailers behind it. Yeah, that's the Farmtech. Next up we have another Krampe, the Krampe Bandit 750. Um, and one thing puzzles me, um, it says Kipper here and Kipper is German for tipper. But actually, this trailer does not tip. This is how you unload it. Um, when you unload it, it opens its back door. And just like its uh, semi-trailer bigger brother, with the conveyor belt uh, in the bottom of the trailer, the material is pushed to its back and unloaded. So it does not really tip, although it says it on the side here. Um, why that's the case? Well, you can better ask the guys from Krampe because I don't know. But nevertheless, very good trailer. Um, 39,200 liters of capacity, 51,000 euros to buy, so 1 euro 30 per liter. Next up, we have this, the second um, Branta. This type now is the Branta TA. Uh, 
23071 34000 liters of capacity 44000 euros to buy and that just like it says here on the side power push plus so it's a pushback trailer when you unload it it will open its rear end or its grain door and the material is pushed to its back and discharged like here just like we had it with the fliegel before and we will see it later on again you have these um, pistons over here which will push that front wall all the way to the back of the trailer when you unload it um when you have 29 per liters of capacity did i say that uh not sure so it's 34,000 liters volume and 44,000 euros to buy next up this is a kröger agroliner it's the tkd 302 model 21,000 liters of capacity is 27,000 euros to buy so also one euro 29 per liter just like the brand of before it's a three-sided tipper a tipper trailer so you can tip it to the left to the right and to the back and also it has a grain door option and a rear trailer hitch that's it for the Kröger Aqualine and it comes with a cover on top as well next up we have the first of two Joskins this is the Joskin Draka 8600 um 47000 liters of capacity 59000 euros to buy 1 euro 26 per liter volume this is also a pushback trailer so this will push to the back and uh, this, this will be pushed to the back when you unload it the rear end will open and all the material gets pushed out at the rear um three axle trailer the front and the rear axle have a steering function so which makes it very maneuverable that's the Joskin Drakkar next up is the second of the Strautmann SEK 802 series now it's tipped to its right just like the, the other one was tipped to its left this is the one we tipped it to its right this is the uh, second biggest configuration it has now 8000 liters of capacity is 10000 euros to buy um, so 1 euro 25 per liter if you recall it um, the smaller one with 4000 liters is 2 euros per liter now we are already looking at 1 euro 25 per liter so basically my personal opinion is invest in 2000 euros for this um, extra section and the extra volume it really pays out the rest of the trailer is identical to the first one has a rear trailer hitch tips left tip side left tip side right tip side back available as well as a grain door um one euro 25 per liter yes i said that and moving on to another strautmann but a slightly bigger Strautmann. Um, this is the Strautmann Aperion um, 3401. This one has 52,000 liters of capacity. It's the largest of the tractor trailers in today's evaluation and it's 65,000 euros to buy. So it's also the most expensive tractor trailer um, of today's evaluation, but it also has a price performance ratio of 1 euro 25 per liter volume so it's basically identical in its price performance ratio to this one but really really bigger um, it's a pushback trailer uh, when you unload it it's open this rear end uh, the conveyor belt in the bottom will push the material back and it has uh, this um, um, pedal function if you want to call it like that to assist the discharging um, of the material unique feature no other trailer has that um, it is a universal trailer so you can do everything um, all the root crops all the standard crops grass hay straw um, which puzzles me because no more normally you have these only for the um, forage trailers which only can do silage and the forage crops and something like that but this is a universal trailer it can do everything with this 
discharging turning spikes. Um, three axle trailer also uh, steering axle but they don't have a such a steep angle like the Joskin has uh, or had before. Next up is another Kröger Agroliner. This is the TAW30. 45,000 liters of capacity, 56,000 euros to buy. It's a pushback trailer. So basically the front uh, wall gets pushed all the way back, all the way to the back with this piston and discharges the material. This is by the way the same function like this Branta had uh, before but we did not display it. Um, yeah, that's the um, Kröger Agroliner TAW30. Um, 1 euro 25 per uh, liter. Um, yes, 45,000 liters capacity, 56,000 euros to buy. Um, also, it has the Excel, it's a free Excel trailer, also have a steering function, but when you're backing up, the axles don't um, keep the angle, so they will straighten up. This is different to the other three axle trailers. They, these will keep the angle of the wheels when you're backing up. This one won't. Next up, we have another Kröger Agroliner. This is the HKD 302. So basically, it's the swivel axle model of the one we had before. So this is um, um, the TK, uh, TKD 302. And now we have the HKD 302. Um, this has also 21,000 liters of capacity, but it's slightly cheaper than the other one or which we had over there. This is um, 25,000 euros to buy, so it's 1 euro 19 per liters. But it also has a three-sided tipping function, tipping left, tipping right, tipping in the back, and also a grain door option. And this is how now it's uh, displayed how with a open grain door, so the rear wall does not flip open. You only discharge through the grain door. It also has a rear trailer hitch, so you can hitch multiple of these together. Yeah, that's um, this Kröger Agroliner. Next up, we have another Branter, or again, the Branter TA23065 Power Tube Plus. If you recall it, we had this over there as well, but the one over there was a slightly smaller capacity. This now is the one with 33,600 liters capacity. It's um, 38,500 euros to buy. So it's one euro 15 per liter volume. And this is how the Branta looks when it's uh, discharging. So it's a tipping trailer. Um, yeah, and the rest is basically identical to the one we had over there. You also have the rear trailer hitch there, so you can also hook other trailers behind it. That's the Bunter Power Tube Plus TA23065. I mentioned the price performance ratio, did I? Yes, 1 euro 15. So, moving on to the top three of today's evaluation. We will start with this one. This is the Joskin Trans Space 8000. It's 31,000 liters uh, of capacity, 35,000 euros to buy. So one euro 13 per liter. It's a free axle trailer also with steering function at the front and the rear axle. And obviously it's a tipper trailer also with grain door um, for 31,000 euros with 35 uh, no for 31,000 liters with only 35,000 euros to buy it's a really cheap trailer it's a really good deal for such a large size trailer um, but as I mentioned before if you unload it in uh, spaces with low clearances you will probably face an issue so have that in mind if you go for this 
Joskin trailer. Yeah, so this is the one with the bronze medal. Next up, we have the last Strautmann SEK802 now displayed with its rear back tipping, with its rear tipping function. So now I've confirmed that I, I'm not telling nonsense. It can tip to the left, it can tip to the right, and it can tip to its back. And also you have the two grain door option. This is now the 12,000 uh, liter uh, version. It's 12,000 euros to buy, so it's one euro per liter. And it's scored second best in today's evaluation. That's the Straubmann SEK802. And the winner of today's evaluation is this one over here. This is the Fortschritt HW80. It has 10,750 liters of capacity and it's only 8,500 euros to buy. Um, it's a tipper, only a side tipper, so you can only tip it to the left or the right, not the back. Uh, and it, But it has a rear trailer hitch and it's the one with a front swivel axle. Um, and now I'm closing the circle back to the very first of the Strautmann. If you recall it, we had a Strautmann here with 4,000 liters capacity, 8,000 euros to buy, and this is only 500 euros more, so 8,500 8, euros to buy, but 10,000 liters capacity more than double of the capacity of this one. And it has an incredible price performance ratio of 79 cents per liter. It's an older style um, trailer, admittingly, but it's really, uh, really cheap and really cost effective. It comes along with a cover as a standard. Um, yeah, that's it for today. That's it for trailers, for universal trailers who can take all of your crop types. Um, leave a like, leave a comment. Thank you very much for your interest. Thank you very much for your attention and See you next time.